The Human Body, A Complex Mystery of Nature Yet Less Mysterious Today Thanks to Scientific Research For people with MS and other neurological diseases, MRF is accelerating the speed of research and knowledge. The human body functions in extraordinarily complex ways. Order is maintained until there is a problem. As in a blackout in a city, neurological diseases gradually erode the system and can cascade into total failure. Meet Rusty Bromley, COO of the Mylan Repair Foundation. Multiple sclerosis is a very complex disease, and, and people often ask me, well, why is it so complex? Well, first of all, when you're dealing with the brain and the spinal cord, there are billions and billions of cells. You're looking at the interaction between these cells. So we think about it as being a room with perhaps 100,000 locks, and or a city, for instance, like New York City and you're trying to find a particular lock and then determine which key goes in the lock. So just the search process of finding the right lock that opens the right door is an enormously complex task. In traditional scientific uh, investigation, the scientist proposes to look for a lock. They then wander into lower Manhattan trying to find a building. They go into the building, they look at a specific lock. If it's not the right lock, they go back and start over. In our case, we did it as a team activity. And what we did was we mapped out the biological processes involved. So we tried first to identify what were the most promising buildings that we were looking for, what blocks were they on, and we give our people a map that they can follow in order to find those buildings. And then once we go into the building, we take a systematic approach using the most modern tools of biology and biochemistry to find a specific lock within that building. Because our people are integrating and working together all the time, they know typically within days or months of a new discovery by the team, which they can then factor in to the process going forward. So in the last year, we have continued to identify uh, new potential targets, treatment targets, but more importantly, we've come to the realization that the targets that we've identified actually represent multiple different approaches to uh, treating multiple sclerosis. The five areas that we've been investigating in terms of myelin repair are uh, repairing the blood-brain barrier, uh, promoting cells to produce myelin within a lesion, blocking the impact of the immune response, coupling immune regulatory factors with stimulants for myelin repair, and finally promoting the migration and maturation of stem cells into the lesions to affect repair. The blood-brain barrier is made up of cells lining the walls of blood vessels in the brain and spinal cord. Normally very robust, in MS, this barrier breaks down, creating holes that allow MS T cells to enter the brain. Once inside the brain, they attack and destroy the myelin. MRF believes finding the key to closing the holes in the blood-brain barrier could dramatically reduce the effect of disease and provide a better environment for myelin repair to take place. In people who have multiple sclerosis, the myelin-producing oligodendrocyte cells are unable to repair the damaged myelin sheath. MRF believes this is because the signals to properly activate the oligodendrocytes to produce new myelin are missing. By providing these signals artificially, it may be possible to stimulate the oligodendrocytes to repair the damaged myelin. During a multiple sclerosis attack, 
MST cells produce toxic chemicals that overload the myelin-producing machinery and destroy the oligodendrocytes that are trying to repair the myelin. MRF believes that finding the key to this process will protect oligodendrocytes from the impact of these chemicals. This will allow them to continue their work of wrapping myelin around the nerve or axon. In multiple sclerosis, MST cells are activated by consuming myelin debris that is produced as a result of the disease. Actively blocking the receptors on the T cells that allow this activation reduces the body's inflammatory immune response, creating a more favorable environment for stimulating myelin repair. When myelin is damaged in MS, a lesion is formed which stimulates the production of stem cells which migrate to the site of the injury. The lesions prevent those cells from entering the site and repairing the myelin. MRF is working to discover the key to understanding how to enable the stem cells to migrate into the lesions to remyelinate the damaged areas. MRF is advancing the science of myelin repair at an accelerating pace. Through good science and the collaborative effort of many supporters, we all can make a difference. As we move into the next stage of the Myelin Repair Foundation, to think about what we need to do to push these the targets towards therapeutic development. The sheer quantity of new, innovative, basic research um, combined with the focus on generating usable drug targets. That's what's so unique about this. It is not only going faster, it's going into areas that wouldn't have happened. These men are all working together for one goal, to find a way of helping with the myelin. I felt like I was in this room with sort of greased lightning, you know, that there was just this incredible energy, an incredible model that's applicable not just to MS but to other diseases. I think we're on the right track. For people with MS or other neurological diseases, MRF is accelerating the speed of research and knowledge.